What's good with y'all scarfs? This is Scorpionic Sag, North on Rise of Terror. Welcome to the channel. If you haven't liked or subscribed, it will be greatly appreciated along with a donation. I have a link in the description box below. This is actually going to be a free speaking video, okay? A free speech to the Scorpios out there that want to learn how to not be taken advantage of, okay? I know y'all have a very uh, sacrificial heart for people out there, but that could be taken advantage of. I'm going to tell y'all that right now. And it's not till maybe a month or so, two months into the relationship or a couple of weeks into the relationship, you start seeing these people's masks fall off their face. I'm going to tell you what to do to avoid these situations. Cut your emotions off. I'm telling you, once you learn how to master your emotions, now you can put that into things that serve you for your highest good. I ain't say it just go out there and be a cold hearted asshole and walk around and treat people like shit. Nah, bro, you ain't got to be like that. Being detached means... You learn how to turn your emotions off when it comes to communicating with people. Because the people that you could be communicating with, whether you're a masculine scarf, whether you're a feminine scarf, it really don't matter. You're a scarf, you're a scarf. When it comes to communicating with people out there, you have to train your mind to not believe. You could hear it with the physical ears. But when it comes to processing it in the brain and believing it just because it sounds good. Now, to the Evolved Scorpios, you already know what I'm talking about. So, I don't have to put y'all on game when it comes to that. But y'all can still learn. You know what I'm saying? Everybody going to learn something new every day. Hell, I'm evolved. I'm still learning shit out there. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to listening to things, that is perfectly fine. When it comes to believing it, that's a trap. I'm telling y'all, that's the trap right there. When you believe in it, you also give emotion into it. Okay, in a way. But when you go in and, and you believe everything that you hear, you set yourself up to be an easy target for manipulation material. That's a fact. When you believe people, just because they say, I love you, just like I said in my other video. When you believe the words, I love you, that could be a curse and spell manifesting right there in itself. And a snap of a finger. Because if you say love backwards, evil. Even though it ain't spelt with the I, it still sounds identical. See what I'm saying? That's a spell, bro. Okay? A lot of people want to talk about curse words like fuck shit damn ass. As, that's, you know, as if that's the original curse words. But if you really pay attention to it, what we learned, and this is going to be kind of off topic. What we learned in school was curses and spells. Cursive writing, spelling. Makes you question things, don't it? It's something to question. Cursive, even though it says if, curse is in there. Curse. Cursive, writing, spelling. Because everything you speak into reality is a spell. I'm telling you. And these people that walk around telling you things that you want to hear... They know how to activate. They know how to get inside your brain waves and manipulate them. Okay. When you go up, you believe everything you hear. Now they have people out there that will play naive. Like they don't know what you're talking about. But those people could be 100,000% sure on the information that you're telling them. See what I'm saying? If you're in a communication with somebody out there. You're in communication with somebody. Okay. Let's say you're interested in somebody. You're interested in somebody on the love level. Okay. You want to have a relationship with somebody. And you could be telling them your past traumas and stuff like that. Or you could be telling them things that you think they wouldn't know. They are 100,000% already experienced in that department. They just won't let you know that because that's the way to manipulate you. I'm going to tell you that right now. Now, for the Evolved Scorpios out there, bro, once you reach that uh, that Phoenix stage, okay, where it's the uh, Firebird, they flying. You're going to understand that on a deeper level, okay? Because you can pick up on the energy. You can read into the energy. You can see the auras. You can read it. It's basically about just reading the energy, you know what I'm saying? Because, bro, you can tell when somebody's lying. You can tell when somebody's being naive. You can tell when somebody's being two-faced. It all fits in the same category. All you have to do is tune into the vibrational levels of frequency that's coming from them, the words that are spoken into reality, and you will see it for yourself. It's all about trusting yourself. It's all about trusting your intuition, connecting with your inner self. And you will learn fast, bro. I'm telling you, you will learn quick. But in order to not be manipulated, don't believe everything you hear. I'm telling you, that's the best way you could go and live your happy life. Okay, not believe everything you hear. Because people that believe everything they hear, they set themselves up to be an easy target. Don't be afraid to disagree either. Don't be afraid of confrontation. Don't be afraid of none of that because life ain't going to be all about 
the positivity all the time. You're going to have the negativity, bro. If you're walking around out there and expecting not to run into confrontation or be in confrontation with somebody, you're sadly mistaken. That's where speaking your mind comes into play, okay? That's where it gets involved. That Not meaning that you have to disrespect people in the process, but, bro, don't be afraid to disagree. Be like, hey, hey, you know, hey, I respect your opinion, but this is my, you know what I'm saying? This is mine. This is my side of it. That's what I mean. It's the Mercury retrograde, y'all. This is my side of it, okay? So I'm going to speak up about it, you know? Don't be afraid to disagree. A lot of people out there want to be a people pleaser because they're afraid of rocking the boat. But I'm going to tell you something right now. When the boat's rocking, that's when the, that's when the ride is the most funnest. That's the way I look at it. When the boat's rocking back and forth like that, that's when the ride's the most funnest. you having a thrill of your life. Because people... And you are indeed a water sign too, so you can look at it from both perspectives. Because you are the water. That water going to be choppy sometimes. That water is going to be choppy. All right? I know I'm getting off topic of the video, but just, just keep listening. The water is going to get choppy sometimes. But these people that come into, inside your territory, now this is going to be off topic, okay? Just go with the information that's flowing out of me. I'm using my intuition. You have to understand that you're the water element. When that water is going to be choppy like that and you got the boats coming in there, they feel uncomfortable. But yet you in your element, bro. You not moving. The ocean is there for a reason. The water is there for a reason. Same thing, okay? The ocean is in that spot for a reason. The land is back there. So they got in the boat. Off of land, come off of land and come in your waters. And when the waters are choppy like this, it's almost like they want the waters to calm down. Well, the last time I checked, you in a boat. You come off of land. These people come off of land. They come inside your territory. They don't like how the waters are, are, are wavy like that, choppy. They don't like that motion. It makes them sick. Yet they continuously stay there and complain. These are people that you need to watch too. The ones that's out there that provoking reactions out of you. Or they just, you say something, you speak your mind. Or somebody tries to provoke you. I'm going to just go along with that. Somebody tries to provoke you. Or they do something like that. And you put them in their place. They'll be the first ones to play the victim. That's another person that you have to watch. Because those people right there, I'm going to tell you why they're playing the victim. Because they ain't fucking strong enough to handle the truth. They ain't strong enough to face their truth version of themselves that you clearly are mirroring right back onto them bro it's almost like they expect people to sit there and let people disrespect you especially when it comes to the zodiac sign scorpio oh anybody else can stand their ground when it comes to the scorpio no you gotta keep your mouth shut fuck that you're gonna stand up and cause confrontation Simple as that, bro. That's how you gain your respect. I'm telling y'all. That's how you gain your respect. You may have a bunch of people out there that ain't going to like you, but they damn well will respect you. I'm going to tell you that right now, Scarps. You ain't no punk, bitch. You're going to stand up to these people. You're going to tell them, you know what I'm saying? You're going to get it right. You're going to tell them exactly what's on your mind. All right? You don't sit there and let anybody punk you out like that. You stand your ground. You stand your ground nice and firm and solid. I'm telling y'all. And these people will be like, oh, damn, I don't like them, but uh, I can't really do nothing because I, you know, I got respect for them. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Now, they're going to be people that just ain't going to respect you. But at the same time, they know that you're going to stand up for what you believe in. You know what I'm saying? So, I know that was kind of off topic. It was off topic. But at the same time, in order to not be manipulated and to be taken advantage of, do not believe everything that you hear. Because when you, when you are in that vibrational level of energy, you set yourself up to be an easy targeted victim. That's manipulation material. I'm going to tell you all that right now. Because these people know that they could tell you anything. And you're going to be naive enough and gullible enough to believe it. Okay? But to the evolved Scorpios out there, you're already going to be aware of that. You know, so the lower range Scorpio, and I mean I'm talking down to anybody, just pay attention. If you're in that lower range, you're still in that Scorpion stage. Or even more so the beginning of the Eagle stage. You may still be in that naive type of mentality to get your mind played on like that. And they will spark emotions out of you. That's another thing. People love getting emotional reactions out of you. All right. That is um, a source of fuel to the narcissist out there. That's a source of fuel. They will keep on sucking and sucking and sucking. But if you don't give an emotional response to the situation that they try to put you in, how can they get that fuel? 
Silence is everything. Because silence serves no reaction. Silence serves no reaction. What can they do with silence? Nothing. Nothing. They target people that they could pull emotional responses out of like that. Don't be that person. Be detached. I know it's hard, bro, because y'all do have that intensity. Y'all do have that passion. Y'all have that emotions. Y'all have those strong emotions that you want to put in connections out there. But I'm going to tell you something. Watch what connection you put that in. I'm telling y'all, bro, like I could, I'm just mainly speaking from my perspective. Not everybody going to be living the same life out there as I am. Like, like not everybody going to be living the same reality as I'm living. But I learned from experience. I'm detached, bro. I don't care. Y'all can tell, bro. I'm just telling y'all, I don't care. I'm just saying. I don't care. I don't care to believe anything that's spoken into reality. I will take it from a detached perspective. Yeah, it may sound good, but don't mean I'm going to believe it. Simple as that. You know what I'm saying? So, if it makes people uncomfortable, cool. I don't give a damn. Bro, life has got me to this point to where I care about people that's genuine, you know what I'm saying, that has a good-hearted energy, that has a good-spirited energy. I care about those type of people. But when it comes to these type of people, you know, as far as relationships, dealing with the women and all that, I don't care, bro. I'm detached. Straight-up detached. You know what I'm saying? And this is something that I really didn't want to do, but, bro, life, the lessons that I have learned has got me to this point. Okay? Not meaning that I hate them. I just I believe everything I hear. I'm not going to be easy access. Simple as that. Like, nah, you ain't going to be getting in my head and telling me things or trying to sweet talk me. Nah, I don't believe it. Simple as that. And people will have a problem with that. It's almost like they have a problem with you stand up for yourself. Well, I'd much rather them hate me for having a backbone than to love me for being a damn doormat that they could just wipe their feet all over and just walk all over like that because it ain't going to happen. Simple as that. Scarps, pay attention. I know some of y'all out there that evolve Scorpios, y'all bro, y'all y'all gonna take in this information and be like, oh man, you know what I'm saying? Just be detached, though. That's all I tell y'all, brother. Like to stop yourself from being targeted as easy access, manipulation material like that, if that made any sense. To stop yourself from being targeted like that, don't believe everything you hear. You don't have to be cold hearted. You can just cut your emotions off when it comes to being in a conversation with people. Simple as that. You can still be yourself, just be detached. You can listen to the information, but don't believe the information. When you believe the information, then you give yourself time to develop emotions for the information that's spoken into reality. Especially if you're dealing with a lover. To the masculine, you're dealing with a feminine, or to the feminine out there if you're dealing with a masculine. I really can't speak for the ladies, but I can speak for my Scorpio brothers. All right? Simple as that. You know? But, to, but take it however it resonates with y'all, all right? Because it can fit the description of y'all too. 